Ever had one of those nights where you wake up the next morning with a hangover so big you're convinced your entire life has turned upside down? Well, this husband certainly did. Picture this. You're at a party with the boys, sipping on your favorite drink, when suddenly your memory decides to take an unexpected vacation. Yep, that's the magic of alcohol-induced blackouts. Turns out, alcohol doesn't just mess with your balance and coordination. It's also a master at playing tricks on your memory. From forgetting conversations to entire events, it's like hitting the delete button on your brain's DVR. And just when you thought you've heard it all, researchers have been unraveling the mystery behind these memory mishaps for decades. So next time you raise a glass, remember, you might be toasting to a temporary amnesia drink. Yes, your memory might suddenly decide to take an unexpected vacation. Yep, that's the magic of alcohol-induced blackouts. All right, folks, buckle up for a journey to the land of forgetfulness. And no, it's not the kind induced by a few too many drinks. This ride's all about the hilarious world of memory mishaps. So, strap in tight, because you're about to embark on a brain vacation you'll want to remember. A husband who came home drunk the previous night and wakes up in the morning at home with a huge hangover. He can't remember anything from the previous night, and everything is a big mystery to him. But he knows that he is in big trouble. He is almost too scared to kick of the day as he wonders what is awaiting him around the corner. He opened his eyes, and the first thing he sees is a couple of aspirins and a glass of water on the bedside table. This is weird. Someone has considered that this is what is going to be required to get the day of to a good start. He sees his clothes for the day nicely placed on the bottom of the bed. Everything is in perfect order. Something is wrong, and he started to be worried that he might have awoken in another universe. As he gets out of bed, he notices a note on the table from his wife. Honey, breakfast is on the table. I left early for grocery shopping. Love you. Oh my word, he must have died, he thinks, because this is not normal after a night like he has just had. Something in this scene is very wrong. He is shocked. He goes to the kitchen, and there is a hot breakfast and newspaper ready for him. He starts to wonder again if this is what heaven is like, still considering that he might have actually died. His previous world did not treat men like this after a heavy night out with the boys. He asked his son, what happened last night? His son replied, you came home around 3 a.m. drunk. Well, there is your first clue, Serpico. You broke some plates, urinated in the hall, and stumbled into the door. Okay, this is what was expected after the heavy night out with the boys. He is still very confused about his current situation. He clearly understands that if he was a movie producer, he would have to send the script back to the author, because scene one and scene two just don't tie up. Confused, the man asks, so why is everything in order? I was expecting a big quarrel with your mom. Knowing that it would have been well-deserved, nonetheless, his son replies, Mom dragged you to the bedroom, and when she tried to take your clothes and shoes off, you said, Lady, leave me alone. I'm married, and I love my wife. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.